Good day, class. Good to have you again. We'll, we're still having the topics that is this one. But this time around, we're looking at another subtopic. The last class, we looked at how to plot or to draw bar charts as graphical presentation of data. But this time around, we're looking at pie charts. From the word pie, you can begin to imagine what is a pie chart. Before then, let's look at our objectives. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A. Define a pie chart B. Draw a suitable pie chart to illustrate any given data and C. Solve problems from any drawn pie chart Okay A pie chart is a circle from the word pie is a circle which is divided into different sectors or slices whose angles are used to display the data and don't forget, the angle of a pie chart represents the frequency of the given value. Now take note of this, that the angle for each sector, you must be able to find the angle for each sector from the given data. Then it is important to label each sector. Give the label the name of each sector and then the angle according to the given items. And lastly, every pie chart, like I said when we are treating bar chart, Every pie chart must have a title. Very important. It's part of the maths. Let's take an example. The question says, or the example says rather, 100 students in a certain school were given the choice of four departments to choose from. The table below shows their responses. Illustrate this information using a pie chart. Okay? From your pie chart, what fraction of the students choose commercial department? Now, this is the department. Department. I have science. Number of students that decide to go for science department 20, art department 40. Number that made their choice of commercial 25 and computing 15. Now, the question is draw a pie chart to illustrate this, this information. I told us before you can draw the pie chart as in a circle, dividing it into different sectors. You need to know the angle for science, the angle for art, for commercial and computing. How do I get the angle? The first thing is, these are departments for science. How many students shows our science department? 20. How do I get the angle? Getting the angle means add everything together here. Yeah? 20 plus 40 plus 25 plus 15 We give me 100. That means to get the angle for science, which is 20, it is 20 over 100 times the sum of angle of a, of a circle is 360. 20 over 100 times 360 will give me 72 degrees. If I decide to go for the angles for arts, which is 40 students, it means 40 over the total number of students, 100 times 360, 144. We did the same for every other thing, and then we got uh, computed to be 90 degrees, and then Complete to be 54 and then commercial to be 90. Now the question is, how do we get the pie chart? Let's look at it. You draw a circle, which we've done angles before in your previous classes. Get a circle, locate the center. Okay. Now, from the center, get a straight line. We started from 72. Get a straight any straight line to any part of the circumference. Now use your protractor. Get angle 72, put 72 and then write science. From this last point, get another angle 144 and put at. From this last one, get angle 90. For 90, I'm not putting 90 degrees. I'll just signify by using a right angle sign, meaning it's 90 degrees. I don't need to put 90. This commercial from this last point get angle 54. By the time you go around, you will discover that it will give you exactly 360 degrees. This don't forget what I told us about the the topic. This is the topic of this pie chart. It says a pie chart showing the choice of departments of 100 students in a school. Okay. Now let's look at the B. It says from your pie chart, what fraction of the students choose commercial departments? I can do this in two ways, okay? Commercial departments. Commercial departments. How do I get 
for your partial, what fraction of the students? Fraction means what is the angle of commercial for commercial? 90 degrees over. What is the total angle, the sum of angles of a circle? 360 degrees. 90 here, 1, 90 here, 4. The fraction is 1 over 4. This is a method of doing this. What if I don't want to use angles, but I want to use the number of students? Let's go back. Look at this. I can also use this. Or for commercial, how many? 25. And what is the total number of students? 100. So I can as well say I can use this other method that it means 25 of number of commercial over the total 100. The same thing, 25 year 1, 25 year 4. So the fraction of commercial department is 1 over 4. This brings us to the end of the class. By now, I want to believe you've learned something about uh, how to draw a, a pie chart and how to answer questions using a given pie chart. Do have a wonderful day. See you some other time. Thank you.